360, my name's Jack, and it's time to go to Wembley. So we've made it. I'm on Wembley Way right now. Uh, we travelled down from Newcastle last night on a very hectic train. Last night it seemed quite empty around Wembley in terms of wrestling fans, but today they seem to have turned up. I mean, they have turned up in massive. Luke just follows me around and you just see the queue behind me. That is for the Box Park meet and greet. Um, and it's not just that queue there, it goes across the street to the box park itself. So it's already feeling like a massive event. I don't really know what to make of it yet. We're just gonna travel around, hopefully go to one or two shows as well, not just all in, because that's tomorrow and we've got a bit of time to fill. Um, I'd like to shout out my team who are here with me, Jack Atkins, Pierce and Luke behind the camera. Yes, Luke, come on. Luke's the guy who does weirdest episodes. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna have a lot of fun. If you see us about, oh no, this'll be going out after. Ah, oh, damn it. See you soon. What do you think of uh, Jack the Jogger? I mean, he's, he's as nice as he is handsome, but he's very handsome indeed. This is the second best Jack in the strip. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Just... Hey everybody, it's Jack and Jack at the end of uh, the Saturday of All In weekend. It's been a bit, it's been an action packed day, Jack Atkins. Yeah, and I think this is our quiet day today and it's been a very busy, long, but rewarding and fulfilling day. There's been a lot of stuff we've done. We've met so many wonderful wrestling fans on Wembley Way who've all been really lovely actually. It's yeah. been very nice. Who is your favorite wrestler of all time? What I say, Shawn Michaels. He's fuming! He's tweet. fuming! Yeah, he's um, so, first of all, uh, what did we do first? We went off to Progress? Well, we did news. Well, we did the news first yeah. and got kicked off yeah. Wembley Stadium. Not literally off it, that would have been outrageous. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then we went to, well, the Defy slash Progress show, yeah. which had an hour turnaround, which is when we arrived and everybody was stressing. Fair play to them. They, yeah. they did all right. That was at the actual ballroom in Camden. And we, we had some interviews lined up outside. Uh, we got one done with Lee McAteer from Progress. Crazy weekend. Didn't think we'd get anything like this outside of WWE, obviously. Um, how do you think the British scene's doing as a result of it? Obviously, we see these kind of indie shows piggybacking off the big ones in America. It's great to see it happen in the UK. I think it's fantastic to see it happen in the UK and to be honest with you, let's hope that it's the start of even more stuff to happen in the UK because yeah. if we can grow the scene collectively, it's got to be good for everybody. You know, for me, wrestling should be fun and quite frankly, everybody should be working together. Yeah. There's enough out there for everybody. So why don't we all get collectively together? Because especially after the tragic news that we've had in the last week, I think more so than ever, the entire community needs to come together for yeah. the better good. And this should be a complete celebration of British wrestling. And let's be frank about it, the audience they've got at Wembley and the amount of people are here today and everywhere else, it's just, it's fantastic. So let's hopefully, uh, sorry, let's hope that it really grows the scene and yeah. it's going to continue to do so for everybody. The, so all independents win and that um, hopefully AEW will be here again next year as well. Just a quick vlog update. We're, we're here backstage at Progress slash Defy. The Defy show is finished. It's a one hour turnaround, then they start on the Progress show. It, the, weather's, the weather's turned, I'll be honest. It's a uh, classic British summertime that we all know and love. We were meant to be here getting interviews. Um, and Oh, that was just a flash of lightning. That legitimately was. And uh, everyone's gone inside because, you know, we're under a shelter at the minute, but... And it is dripping under here as well. <laughs> Look at my shoes. Let's end the link. Let's get inside, John. <laughs> And then we didn't know what to do, and there was a door behind us which we thought was closed. So, was it me and you, Pierce, went to this other door, and I opened it, and one of the Bollywood boys and Kent were there, and I was kind of like, "Are you coming or going?" And they kind of, I was like getting wet, and then Kent was coming, so I pushed the door, thinking it'd go, "Wumph, wumph," but I pushed it, and it just instantly went right into his shoulder. Jack Atkins. Yeah. And I, I just, Kenta. I just went, oh. Sorry, Kenta. Sorry, Kenta. <laughs> Walked past them like that. <laughs> Hashtag sorry, Kenta. Yeah. Um, 
Then we got an interview with David Boy Smith Jr., yeah. which was excellent. Uh, he was in a really good mood. He was great. He gave some very insightful answers. What are some of the key differences you've noticed between UK wrestling fans and perhaps uh, fans in North America? Well, I mean, the UK fans have got an accent, right? Well, that's true. <laughs> Several different ones, depending on where uh, you are. Well, you know, it's, it's always great being back over in the UK with my family history and my family lineage. And being that it's August, it's, you know, getting near this end of the summer. We're here in London, England, not far from Wembley Stadium, where... My father and Brett the Hitman Hart had the legendary SummerSlam 1992 match. And, uh, you know, it's, it's great to be back over here in front of the live UK audience. And uh, I'm glad that they gave me a great reception back. So. Excellent stuff. Um, mm-hmm. I was going to ask you about it a little bit later on, but since you mentioned that legendary yeah. match now, what are some of the favorite things? Because everybody loves that match. Everybody says very nice things about it. What are some of the, what's your favorite thing to hear somebody say about that match? Well, you know, I, it, I mean, just all of the overwhelming uh, compliments and uh, great gratitude towards the match. It was definitely two guys that headlined when, you know, it was the era of, you know, it was like a Hogan Warrior or Hogan Andre, but there were two not even smaller competitors, but in those standards were yes. smaller, to headline SummerSlam 1992 and... Um, put on a great performance, and it was uh, an excellent match. And my favorite part of the match is just that the reaction of the final finish, the sunset flip reversal and the one, two, three, and just the the explosion from the audience. That was that was the my favorite part of it. Then we had to get across London Town to the Copper Box to see Rev Pro's anniversary show, which was. Very good, a very good show. Yo guys, now we're outside the Copper Box for Rev Pro. It's been a wet and hectic journey across London, but the sun's come out. And as I said before to you, Jack Atkins, in the words of Bono, after the rain, after the flood, I've messed up the Jack King, Pierce, Jack Atkins, Rev Pro, Will Ospreay, before. Yes, got the tube across to the Copper Box for Rev Pro. Thank you so much to Rev Pro for getting us in and allowing us an interview, which you'll be seeing on the channel very soon, hopefully. Um, and it, unless that's up before this, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, what, what, should we go through some of the, the great matches on the show? Yeah. First of all, back at the Progress show, yeah. uh, the main event of Defy was Mark Haskins versus Kenta. Yeah. Excellent match. Very good match. With an aggro crowd. Oh, it was very raucous, yeah. There was one guy who... Who was going berserk He was a Kenta. big Haskins fan, yeah. and he was like... Effing and Jeff. I can't say what he said, but he was like, you've never been in me, little C-word. I was like, oh my God. And we were there just like... Mm. He thinks it's real. Yeah. Um, and it was. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't stay for the whole progress show because we had to get across town. It was a great card. Um, Rev Pro had a great card as well. Um, Leon Slater, the North Wrestling Champion, opened the show. There was some great matches involving, uh, well, Luke Jacobs versus um, Tomohiro Ishii. That was my match of the night. Was that your match of the night? Yeah. Great match. They just they just pelted each other for a good 20 minutes. Yeah, so. yeah, it was fantastic. And then there was the dueling kicks out, kick outs at one. Yeah, That was a great moment as well. The main event was the latest instalment of the feud between Shingo Takagi and Will Ospreay. Rarely have I seen such a like a conquering hero pop as Ospreay got. Yeah. A hometown kind of thing. Or near his hometown anyway. Yeah. Um, and it was a fantastic match. Both men really good. Ospreay does like the farewell thing at the end. And as you've probably seen now on Twitter from people who were at the show, he gives a really heartfelt promo. It felt really real. It felt, well, first of all... Well, Zach, yeah. Zack Sabre Jr. came out. Because we were all kind of like, oh, is something going to happen here? Because he was lingering around. Zack Sabre Jr. came out, said, great, probably the biggest weekend for... He went, all right, sweetheart. Yeah. He actually did as well. Well, yeah, and uh, Will just went, is that you, God? Because <laughs> you can see anyone. Which is an Aidan Gibbons line as well. Oh, fantastic. Um, and the Miracle Child. The, the, the Miracle Gibbons. Child, Aidan Gibbons. But, uh, yeah, Zach challenged him to Royal Quest. Yes. And basically said, you know, do it for Britain this weekend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Me and you for Osprey's IWGP, as he's called it now, the UK, UK Championships. Um, yeah. um, then Osprey, cut, then Zach left, and Osprey cut his um, a very foul promo. A foul mouthed but heartfelt it promo. It was foul mouthed but sweet. Yeah. Um, there was a couple of toddlers behind us, and we yeah. were like, mm. putting uh, over like things like very real. Not even putting them over, just mentioning real things in real life, like stepping into the role of being a stepfather and yeah. stuff like that. And it all, it was all very real, all very from the heart. And we were like. Oh, it's just like a nice end of the show. And, and then suddenly and Jack then, King just then, went, no, no. Hark! <laughs> I did, I went, wait, <laughs> guys! And then I guess we'll splice in a bit of what happened. <laughs> that 
that was that. Oh, it was that bloody Chris Jericho. Hog. I didn't go hog. <laughs> and Pierce got Shut free you. chicken. And Pierce got, got some free chicken. Because <laughs> uh, after we did the interview with Osprey, which may or may not be up before or after this vlog, um, I think she was just. I think she was one of the event, one of the venue staff. I think so. Yeah. And she just walked past, and I thought she was going to go. Can you hurry up now, guys? Get yeah. out of the venue. She said the very opposite. She went. There's just free food and boxes out there if you want to help yourself. Do you want to have some chicken? And Pierce, I don't know, I had that. But some Pierce, chicken. I've never seen a, a man move so fast in my life. <laughs> He's just like, let's go, let's go, come on. What's, what are we doing? What are yeah, we doing? Yeah. Get a fart on, let's go. <laughs> what have you got there? What have you got there? Free chicken. Chicken? <laughs> free chicken? So, it turns out, when you get an interview at RevPro, you get asked to do a bit of catering, like, just tuck into the catering as well. Got some chicken, got on the tube. Got some hooch. Because two women got on and they'd just been to a thing, which if you're from the UK and you've heard of this, you'll know exactly where they've been. Bongo Bingo. You'll know the mood they were in. They were jovial. Yes. They, um, I, I'd say uh, at least a quarter cut, maybe not half cut. Yeah. yeah. And they'd won not one prize. They'd won prizes two at Bongo Bingo. A karaoke machine, one of them. Had, I've got yeah. a karaoke machine. And... <laughs> Got a cray out. <laughs> Help yourself to hooch because she didn't want to carry the weight of it home. So, uh, Jack Atkins, obviously, you don't, you don't drink. Fair I'm, I'm straight edge icon. But the rest yeah. of the boys, <laughs> we got the hooch in. And um, it's made for a wonderful little trip home. Yeah. No, it was crap. We were squashed into that tube. Yeah, it, yeah, was, yeah. it was warm. Anyway, um, Pierce has stood up stretching his legs in the background. So, I think that means it's time to wrap this up. It is quite late. I need a shower. It's been a, a busy day, but I've enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Yeah. So uh, we didn't record anything on the Sunday for the vlog because it was really busy. So I'm doing a bit of a voiceover in post now for Luke to throw in the edit. Here we go to, right, pretend that I'm speaking in real time. Today is Sunday and it can only mean one thing. It's time for all in baby and what a busy day we have ahead. Um, well, uh, Jack Atkins and Luke had an earlier start than me actually. They went to uh, interview Dave Meltzer and Brian Alvarez. I did, yeah. Um, if you... Whatever you think of Dave Melton and Brian Alvarez as... Actually, no, let me rephrase that. How you see and how you hear Dave Melton and Brian Alvarez is how they are. Like, they came in and just sat down quietly. <laughs> and so he went, how are you doing, guys? And Dave just kind of went... Uh, 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 and Brian was like, hey, ha, woo, ha. Oh, uh, fantastic. But yeah, um, good conversation. Um, and yeah, uh, it was... We were, we were running around London mm. like the awful Dodgers gang. <laughs> once they got back to Wembley, because that was in a slightly different bit of London, but once they got back, we all had a lovely sit down outside a cafe slash bar kind of thing. And then Luke and Pierce bumped into Miro. Look at them there. Look at the happy faces. Miro, to be fair, seemed like he was in a really good mood. Uh, and the wrestling fans by this point had come out in full force. The excitement had truly hit Wembley way. It felt almost a bit like kind of a WrestleMania weekend kind of event with just positive energy everywhere. Oh, Orange Cup, Mr. Cassidy, who's the greatest wrestler of all time? <laughs> Me. Okay, very nice. <laughs> there was fans up and down Wembley Way. We managed to get a lot of content as well with microphones running around like idiots doing Vox Pop stuff. Thank you to everybody if you ended up uh, in a video on the channel. Congratulations to you, but thanks for everyone who obviously said hello. Uh, there was events going on in the Box Park as well. Shout out to Hooked on Wrestling Events who managed to um, get a load of stuff done across the weekend, but they seem to be uh, running the show in the Box Park and it was absolutely rammed with fans all drinking, all having a great time. Um, and there was like entertainment on the stage with various wrestlers, including G Money, Lana Austin, it was all just, you know, it was. It felt like a bit of a carnival atmosphere. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Look, you didn't want to. Do you lose a bet or something? No, I was at a bottomless brunch. My number got called. This got put on me. Oh, fantastic! I refuse to let him take it off. So. <laughs> so I'm here with someone I know very well. <laughs> Then the time had come, and it was time to finally go in to Wembley Stadium. And what a show it was. Um, I thought, uh, even though it wasn't like match for match, the best wrestling show I've ever seen, I thought it was, um, I thought it was one of the biggest, grandest spectacles I've ever been to. And I've been, to, I've been fortunate enough to go to two WrestleManias, 32 and 33. Um, I've been to a Wrestle Kingdom as well. And this was up there uh, amongst the biggest events I've been to. Um, and even though I've just said there that it wasn't match for match, the best event I've ever seen, it was still pretty damn good in my opinion. Several matches threatened to steal the show. And when you've got several matches competing for that honor, I think that's a good thing. Uh, my favorite matches were probably three of the singles matches. Uh, Punk versus Joe, I thought was an excellent opener. Um, Osprey versus Jericho, and of course, the main event between Adam Cole and MJF. 
Thank you very much to AEW for uh, putting on such a grand, amazing event and for having us, of course, as well. And for those who were kind enough to help us out and send in your amazing footage of the show as well. Now it's time to hear some final thoughts from a very tired me and other Jack. We hope you've been enjoying this vlog. I don't know what form it'll have taken necessarily, a bit of a mishmash of content that we've been doing, I guess. Yeah. As soon as you said what form it's taken, my head just went, the form of an eagle. Oh, yes. Uh, we're, 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 we're tired. We're yeah, tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're happy but tired you were in the press seat yeah. oh my word yeah. uh, how was the atmosphere how, what was it like going? because obviously you and Luke went to the the, uh, the media scrum while me and Piers uh, came here in this, ver- in this very plaza yeah. to, uh, to film what happened at what was it like being I've never been to one of those what was it like it, it, it was odd because like, we felt uh, not bad for you and Piers because no. you were obviously getting to enjoy a great show but we got in got our credentials and we are ushered into a lift and we went into this nice room it's like so uh, here's where here's where lunch will be served oh. and I was just like I just had pad thai but of course I'm going to eat till I burst um, <laughs> if it's free yeah. why not oh if it, if it wasn't nailed down I was having it um, <laughs> and then there's just like one long row of press tables then there's a space for um, disability access and a bit of a, a bit of a small concourse and another row of press tables and we were sat up there um you know we were by wrestle purists and we went on the other bank you know you had your melters your alvarez oh, yeah. sean Rossap, the big there. dogs yeah. yeah and then you had you know the true dogs over our side um we had we had little screens you, we're the real dogs <laughs> We had, we had little screens, but they were, like, a second out of sync, so it was a bit weird. Ah, OK. But the, the section we were at, like, loads of noise, and we could go down into the section if we wanted to get a proper look around the bowl. Yeah. Uh, and then as soon as the pay-per-view finished, someone came and just went, oh, if you'd just like to follow me. Wow. We went down all these stairs and then just into this um, press room, and then Eddie, Eddie Kingston popped his head in as, like, a warm-up act and he was like oh i'm not gonna be on this oh, i have a great time da, 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 da. fair yeah. enough yeah. what a guy yeah seems like he just loves doing what he's doing what he does yeah. yeah and i got a question to orange cassidy in the press conference and because orange cassidy's very character based oh, I, yeah. I kept it quite light and kayfabe yeah, yeah. and i said congratulations to him and i just got a dm from from him saying congratulations you gimp it's not <laughs> real mate yeah and i just replied saying if it's real to bret hart it's real to me yes so, fantastic yeah. it's been a great it's been a great weekend uh, yesterday was obviously sunday that was that was all in day and my word the wrestling fans came out in force didn't they because i was a bit worried when we were going out because obviously everyone knows you because you've been on the channel for years oh. um some people watching this may not know me but i've been working with the company for three four years yeah, now yeah. but podcast feed and a whole, obviously our sister channel hold and give and other bits so i thought oh People are going to be flocking to Jack to get in videos because they know him. I'm just some, you know, frowning fellow with a microphone. But uh, everyone was really nice. And mm-hmm. you, you got a fair few. You yeah, a few people, people came over and called me Clive F. Clive F, which is his nickname on the on the Tom Campbell retro. Review. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and again, it was very nice. Um, everyone was just really yeah nice. Yeah. I know it's they say kind nice of is overwhelming. A rubbish, yeah, it? yeah, because there were so many people and it was so. And just so there was, it sounds like a cliche, but there was just such an, a positive atmosphere. There was so much positivity really was, all around. Yeah. Um, it, it's been one of those weekends where you're like, you believe in wrestling as a unifying thing again. Like it brings people together, and we can all share, no matter like what where you're from, what background you're from, or anything like that. We all we all for some reason really enjoy this weird thing. Yeah, we'd all come and celebrate that together. Was it's it you? Quite, was it you and I at one point? I was saying to someone, we're just going. Wrestling, wrestling is ridiculous yeah, yeah 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 i mean like it is it yeah, is silly but it's fine yeah it's yeah. fantastic i don't know what more to say it was just a fantastic day um very tired now yeah it's one of uh, i mean it's got to be up there with any wrestling experience i've ever had it, just in terms of not even just the show which was great but just the whole atmosphere around the weekend yeah it was a weird one because because i was in like right i've got to try and focus on this for press conference stuff afterwards mm. I was kind of like in and out of it. I was just in one of those modes. Whereas the Rev Pro show on Saturday night, because we were just there to just sit down, have a lovely time. I was more actively engaged than that. Yeah. But I think this one, give it a few days, you know, read all the surroundings of what happened, watch the replay. I think it's getting replayed on ITV. And then with the commentary and everything, I'll be, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think on, we'll, we'll get a real sense of how good it was once yeah. we've watched it again. But um, yes, it's been a fantastic one. Just want to thank everybody who's been watching um, all the content we've produced about, uh, across this weekend. Um, and thanks to you, Jack Atkins. And thanks to you. And the MVPs, Luke and Luke Pierce. Luke as well behind yeah. the camera, who are both going, ow, but... No, honestly. <laughs> 
<laughs> we, a wonderful eye roll there. It was fantastic. We, we, we just fought around with these mics and then we're just like, right, do you want to oh. do you want to go edit it and upload it in a hotel with no Wi-Fi? We're yeah. going to get pastries. Yeah, so. essentially, like, we, we just get told, oh, you guys are great. And it's not, it's, it's, all, it's the editors. Yeah. Um, cheers, Luke and Pierce as well. Cheers to Aidan for yes. doing the news back at the office. And, um, uh, cheers to Tom Campbell for getting Grado and Jarrett on the card. Cheers to you, Tom Campbell. <laughs> and congratulations as well. Um, I'm trying to think any more, but everyone who came to say hello, basically. Mm. Mm. Thank you so much. You've made our weekend. And um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. We'll, we'll, we'll see you We'll see you down the road. That's a wrestling term, isn't see it? Down the road, see you down the road, brother. Yep. Jack's got to go yep. off to Liverpool now. Bye, Jack Atkins. Bye. Liverpool. Liverpool. Give me, no, the mic. Give me the mic. Thank you. Liverpool. And we'll see you very soon.